بص يا معلم Let me show you Jordan A country with one of the seven wonders of the world. They call it the Moon Valley. A country with the lowest point on Earth. We are now at the lowest point on Earth. 420 meters, guys. The Dead Sea. A country bordered by four countries. Saudi, Iraq, Syria, and Palestine. It's got some of the most entertaining activities. I finally arrived to Jordan. I took a flight on the Royal Jordanian Airline to Amman, the capital. The White City, one of the most populated Arab cities in the world. I met Ibn Hattuta, the famous traveler. He decided to show me Jordan in one week. Before we start our journey around Amman, Hattuta wanted to show me a special place. The place where I drink coffee almost every day while I'm in Amman, it's called Ahwa Black. It costs one dinar, the cheapest and highest quality coffee. They do coffee for one dinar, the most delicious and cheapest in Amman. Then we visited Jabal al Qala. We arrived to one of the most famous temples here, the Temple of Hercules, 100 AC. They found a carved hand, its size is huge. It is part of the remainings from the Hercules statue that was here. We also saw the Roman theater from there. You can see all of Amman. At night, we strolled in the downtown. We tried Jordanian sugar cane. The atmosphere there is refreshing. And of course, we didn't miss the kunafa, which is different from any kunafa you have tried. The second day, we had breakfast at a place called Hikayit City, a family's house that loved to invite foreign guests. They let them try Jordanian homemade food. Then we started the adventure with a trip to one of the most beautiful places in Jordan, Wadi al Mugib. Okay, guys, we have arrived to Jordan, and the first thing that I noticed is that it is full of planes. Look behind me. We have reached the lowest point on Earth, 400 meters below the surface of the water, next to the Dead Sea. We arrived at the most beautiful valley in Jordan. It's called Wadi Al Mujib. What we will see in Wadi Al Mujib? We will see a waterfall, and we will walk to reach the waterfall through rocky formations. We will have an adventure in the water. We will climb. We will see. The rock formations and colors in the valley are vivid. The water is warm, and you can float on top of the water. Valley, we went to the lowest point on earth, the Dead Sea. The salinity here is more than 35%, nine times the Mediterranean. Can you imagine? Jordan is one of the five most famous places for medical tourism in the world. We also went to visit the Petra. On the way, we passed by the largest reserve in Jordan, Dana Reserve. It has four climate systems. It's the most diverse reserve in Jordan, and from it, we came upon one of the seven wonders of the world, but we decided to see it differently, at night with the lights. And by day, it was magical. The place makes you feel that you have gone back in time. Not only that, we visited the Valley of the Moon. We have reached Mars, Wadi Rum, one of the most beautiful deserts in the world. Not only that, we are going somewhere special, one of the strangest places you will see in Jordan. One of the strangest places where you can stay in Jordan, a desert that looks like you're on Mars, in Wadi Rum, something called Bubbles Hotel. It is bubbles like this and full of air, so much that if you enter the door without locking behind you, air will come out. It's insane. Wow! They stay inside. Look at this. It looks like Mars in the movies. The Martian was filmed in this desert because of the red color. I'll show it to you from the inside. Wow, it has a jacuzzi too. One of the most famous deserts in the world. We landed in a place that makes you feel like you are really on Mars. Another world, a different and unique experience. The whole place is powered by solar energy. Wadi Rum Desert at sunset is magical. And the best thing is that there are many options. Fits all budgets. And at night, we had a meal in Jordan. It's called Zarb Lah, cooked underground. We also had some experiences for the first time in my life. We flew an airplane called Microlight, a different experience. I felt safe and I was able to enjoy every moment. It's safe because it depends on the air. Even if the motors stop, 
The air is what drives the plane. You can see the bay and corals from above. Insane. It's a special experience, unique. It is the first time I enjoy flying. I usually get dizzy. And then we decided to see the coral in a different way. We had a new experience, found for the first time in the Middle East. This is the first time, right? First time. You will see something strange that you have not seen before. We walked under the water. You breathe very normally all the time and watch the beauty of God's creation. Even if you don't dive, you can go down. Aqaba is one of the most beautiful places for activities in Jordan, in the sea and on the land, because driving in Aqaba desert is one of the most enjoyable activities you can do. And we ended the day with a delicious fish meal. We also visited two of the most famous cities in Jordan. Jarosh and Ajlun. We arrived in a city called Ajlun in the north of Jordan. The unique thing about the city is that it's all green and they make all the food in the city itself. I mean, all of this comes from the city. Ajlun is a green city in northern Jordan. It contains Ajlun Forest Reserve. It helps the locals work. Everything sold in the place comes from the city itself, even the food. If you want to see the view better, try the zip line. Then head to the cable car, which brings you to Ajlon Castle. Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi ordered to build it. It is located at an altitude of 1,100 meters above sea level. Ibn Battuta came to the city of Ajlon and said, I found it a beautiful city. It had great markets and a dangerous castle. It has a dome in the UNESCO World Heritage because it was built without pillars. We reached Jarash, one of the most powerful cities in the Roman Empire. It was built of an alliance of 10 cities including Amman, a whole city full of Roman ruins. You feel like you have gone back in time while you are walking there. We reached the square where people met before they entered the city, surrounded by 360 degrees of Roman columns. Amazing view. However, the highlight of the place is a temple located above this, Temple of the God Zeus. Look, we are in a Roman theater. They have a specific spot here. If you stood here and spoke, the whole area around you hears me. We are currently in a street that is 100 meters long called the Corridor of Columns. It was used for horse carriages. How did they know? You see this line? It's because of the wheels. They crossed from here and the people crossed from the other side. Lunch was in a beautiful Jordanian house. We had Ma'luba and Mendi. We also had Mansaf. We are here today to try one of the most popular dishes in Jordan. Mansaf. In the 9th century BC, there was a king named Mesha. He was constantly in battles and wars with the Jews. The Jews were forbidden to eat milk and meat. So to make sure of the loyalty of his people, he commanded everyone to eat milk with meat, to end the belief of the Jews. And from there came Mansaf. They must eat with the right and the left is behind their back. They combine rice with milk and meat. It's called dahbara and no one gets up before the guest is finished. Finally, we visited Al Salt, one of the most important cities in Jordan. It became a UNESCO World Heritage Site last year, an ancient city. You will feel the beauty of its streets when you walk in it. We came to have breakfast with Umm Omar. We arrived in Al Salt today. It is one of the most important cities in Jordan, but we are coming for breakfast in a special place with Umm Omar. Um Omar here cooks all food from the same place. She raises goats, chicks, and everything. The food comes out from the same place. That's what's special about this place. What is our breakfast today, Um Omar? Lebanon, 
خبز عصاج شاي على الحطب قلية مندورة اللي بحب جلالة الملك وأهم إشي المربى الليمون والزنجبيل اللي بتحبه الملكة هذا لازم ينزل على كل سفرة Jordan is one of the most beautiful Arab cities I visited The people are generous and hospitable My recent travels in Arab countries exceeded my expectations The Arab countries shocked me with the beauty of its nature and their people Excited about other countries and stories And see you in the next video Peace